They even have a special rumble pack for um, the Dreamcast. There was another thing you jammed in the back right here, and it would just it would rumble the controller. Alright, so here we are again at the pre game show, everybody. And today, we're going to be playing some Dreamcast games and a few other selections, but today, Crazy Taxi. Doesn't matter what's in the pick. Doesn't matter, it really doesn't. Get it on, it's a douchebag. Douchebag! Go! You just pick up people and uh, get them to the destination, just like classic mode. Woo! Yeah. You know what's actually funny about this game is that um, the original arcade mode, the original map is actually the arcade map, and the arcade map is the one they made for the system. Which is it's kind of a funny thing because the, the arcade version obviously came first, so why didn't they call that arcade mode? And also, I can't remember, but I think back up. Yeah, you gotta switch modes with the controller. There's one of the buttons. There you go, D. And then, act, yeah. The controls are so weird. You have to actually shift it into gear. I guess they were trying to make it as close to the arcade version as they could think. So having a very specific button to switch out, I guess they thought would make it accurate. I guess it's never really okay, because the arcade version I would have to You didn't have to shift. You have to that That's true. Uh, I do actually remember playing this one time in an arcade store, but only for like a few minutes. And I had to go a few times. I honestly miss these games. The way that that car handles is not really close to it. No, yeah, the in-game physics for this game are out of their mind. Like, no way this is actually, you know, for real. I mean, imagine that if the car actually turns into some bridge or yeah, and the whole idea is just you, like, you can you can drive around and find other people. Okay. Um, the whole idea is just like you drive around collecting money and doing tricks, you know, jumps and drifting alongside. And, um, you kind of have to go pick up speed and then hit a quick turn. That's basically their their example. Of oh yeah, and driving close to cars gets you extra money, of course. Yeah, right? But they're just they're throwing 50 cents per car you get close to and not kill them. Sit down, ma'am. Ma'am, sit down before I see you can't bolt me into the water. <laughs> I honestly don't care about you. Like, look at me. Look at my eyes. Do you actually think I care that you live or die? Oh, yeah. You know what would be crazy? If he was like the skeleton of uh, driver. Like, like a if Ghost Rider was a selectable character. Oh god, would you ever want to be driven by Ghost Rider? No! Because the second Ghost Rider starts that engine, the whole car is set to blaze, first of all. Hey, there's Pizza Hut. Product, I mean, product placement. I mean, Pizza Hut. I forget how many actual, um, product placements that are in this game. I know it's KFC, Pizza Hut, Levi Jeans, and, um, there's a few, I think there's a few others. It's pretty funny that everybody's accepted this, you know? Like, this is alright. But yeah, no. Well, if you guys, if you took a taxi and you get your place about three seconds, I'm pretty sure you can have to do it. Yeah, right? Now, you know what this is like? Um, what's that one movie with Jackie Chan where he's like a taxi dri or driver? And he get Oh no, it's the tuxedo. That was it. I'm thinking. Are you about no, 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 I'm thinking of the one where he gets the suit. Because um, for the first part of the movie, he was a crazy fast taxi driver. And he just hauled ass throughout neighborhoods and almost ran over a bunch of people. Look, dude, that suit that he has apparently does not care about the suit. Yeah, and then he got the brown suit that was specific to him. Which apparently was like a shittier version of the awesome suit. If you guys don't know the tuxedo... So, it's okay. <laughs> He's gonna get out. He still got him to the destination. Okay, we're at station. Just follow the yeah. There's KFC. It'd be funny if one of these industries was like straight out of business now. 
But I think they're all still relevant. I, there's actually quite a few movies where they all about to talk about some new things. Right? Yeah, like Demolition Man. I mean, there's literally no problem. So yeah, it's like, now all the rest of them are actually pretty accurate. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, like, no way. If they said that they merged with Pizza Hut, they'd be like, no way. Like, Demolition Man saw... Actually, it was funny, there was a Nostalgia Critic review of um, Demolition Man recently. And it's, it's not bad. The tagline for, I think, was like, uh, smart uh, commentary. Smart commentary or just over... Uh, or just... Um, what was it? Over-endowed dick flick or something like that. Something like that. Yeah. It was one or the other. Oh, alright. See how you did. You got sixteen hundred dollars, and you got a D. Nice. I'm back to in on the trolls. Yeah, right. I mean, hell, it took us what thirty seconds to figure out how to reverse. We're registering to ah. All right, arcade mode. Play for five. No oh, retry. Uh, no. Well, I think there was a retry. I just wasn't looking. I always pick this guy because he's always happy. He's never serious. He's never serious, and his car is pretty cool. Oh, uh, I think that's Crazy Taxi Two. What's crazy is that there, Crazy Taxi Two was released for the Dreamcast, but it was like one of the very last games. So finding a physical um, copy with a hard case. That is so difficult, but you can always find a use. I don't know. Collectibles. Um, and also, I think Crazy Taxi 3 actually might be the game, because it was for the Xbox, so... That might be the version. I'm not too wild back that they actually made the Crazy Taxi, but no one heard anything about that. No, I never did. I know they re-released Crazy Taxi with Sonic Adventure and Space Channel 5 with Sega Bass Fishing on the Xbox, which is not a bad collection of Dreamcast games to own, but, um, you know, dude, Sega Bass Fishing is awesome. It doesn't matter, like, it, it's just Bass Fishing. Fish! Pick this person up. Where do you want to go? Popcorn. Fuck it. Just go. That's probably the car I threw off the road. How the hell did you do that? Sit down, ma'am. <laughs> there is nothing stopping me getting this woman to my destination. You have to kill everybody in the room. I will kill as many people as it takes, as long as you are one of them. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, I'm almost. Oh, come on, bitch, get out of my way. I do better. Who is that guy? I do better. I do it. I do better. You, where do you want to go? Kentucky Fried Chicken. Excellent. You know that chicken's a crack. You watch South Park? I mean, you know the truth. Yeah, dude, that was enough. Cause KFC was such a big deal, but nowadays it's just like it's not so much a big deal. Yeah. Yeah. It was sad. Oh man. <laughs> Get out of my way. This man needs to go to church. Sir, sit down. Thou shalt not kill my ass. There we go. Stop. Church. Speedy. Because it was like the church was like right there, is why. Uh, I think it's distance. Like, I think it's distance and how much time they give you to get to that destination. Like, sometimes they'll put you at a really far away distance, but only give you, like, a certain amount of seconds, so you have to know... What the fuck? They have to know the track. I'll just kill everybody to get to where I need to go. 
Like, could you imagine, like, after this is over, the real life consequences that would happen? Hey, at least we two ran. Is it the same dude? It's the same preacher. Like, sir, what are you doing away from church? The sermon's about to start. I think you're supposed to be the first one there, too. Right. Uh, unless these are the fathers of church. You're yeah, right. Sir, get your ass back to church. Who else is looking for a crazy ride? Oh, uh, you? You? Or are you a heliport? This is not the far. Alrighty. You know, normally when you don't pick up people, it sometimes is a lot more fun because you can just wreck shit. <laughs> no, yeah, because um, this one really... I, I didn't think Bad Religion would really work in this game, but it so does. There's a lot of game games now, but they don't seem to want to pay that much, so they just get whatever song they have. Yeah, or they just make a generic soundtrack of their own, and it usually sounds like royalty-free stuff. Yep. Well, then there's games like OK5, a lot of songs, and no way to put them in the next game, so you end up just... Yeah, or if they actually do put a lot of money to the soundtrack, it's usually an orchestrated soundtrack that's trying to go for, like, some Game of the Year award. Yeah, that's sad to say, but there is so many gothic soundtracks, actually, um, in comparison to games that really don't match up with that type of soundtrack. They really want to have that more awful or awful time. But like yeah. they just don't really know. I think it's just like uh, they can't work with the style. It's either that they can't work with the style or they just don't know what the style is at the time, and so they try to build the game on the Yeah. Ah! Uh, I got somebody in the back! Help me out here, man! You also thought it was just straight up in the back. Got more money than you, though. Yeah, because you know I need to drink that door. Yeah, I do! Alright, um, shoot, that was cool. Alright, so that was Crazy Taxi. What'd you think of that? I honestly miss the original arcade versions. No, yeah, I do too. You know they still sell those machines? Yeah, that's pretty crazy. Um, yeah, for like two grand. Yeah, no, I'm not getting that. So, uh, we're gonna switch out. A dock which I think that would take up about 30 room. That would. That would just take up this whole entire section of my room.